Hey y'all, I'm back. The download that I received, it's a karmic energy who is currently separated from a divine masculine, okay? She has fallen on hard times. She basically thinks that even in her misfortune, because she's going through it right now, y'all, she's really having to rebuild, recover from this relationship she was in, okay? But even despite what she going through, she is still feeling very satisfied, very smug because she thinks she won somehow because she, even though she's not with this masculine, she knows this masculine is not with the divine feminine that he should have been with when he was messing around with her. Okay. So I'm picking up that she really finna be cutting the fuck up because and y'all might hear my son on his game. This is like spiritual confirmation, though. She about to be cutting up like he just yelled. Because I'm picking up that this divine masculine is going back to this divine feminine. And it was just 111 on the phone. So we're going to get some Kipra on it first and foremost. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this energy right here? Let me sit up straight. Okay, because I'm telling you, she like... Yeah, my life fucked up, but at least he ain't with her. At least I broke them up. Child boo. I'm telling you, this man, his thoughts. This man is making his way, thinking of how he can reconnect with this divine feminine and be with her, okay? He realized he made a mistake being with your dusty ass. That's why you sitting in that dark room by yourself today okay because that's definitely what i saw but she's so smug y'all she just knows she don't still want somehow this woman look expectation this woman still is <clears throat> despite her state she probably is in that room with a three-day old nightgown on okay but still watching this man just ensuring that he is not with this woman, okay? Like, she just, that's all she care about. She don't even care about her livelihood, what she currently going through, how her life look, how she ain't got no money, okay? Look, because she fucked up somehow with him, with this good Lord and this main male card. She damn messed it up because she a karmic. That's what they going to damn do. Okay, they not meant to hold down no damn divine masculine. What you thought? <clears throat> That's why he running back towards this divine feminine. But she think that that's over child, boo. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? Because this man trying to figure it out. She done fucked up. Look, <laughs> she done fucked up with this sad news. And now she like, yeah, my shit over with with him, but I'm hoping and praying 333 on the phone that he don't run back to her. But I'm telling you, this man, if he ain't already on his way, he is figuring out a way. Okay, y'all. Let's see if there's anything else the Holy Spirit wants us to know from this Kipper. What else, Holy Spirit? I'm trying to tell y'all this woman thinks she done did something. Child, her life all fucked up, child. I was just, like, embarrassed. It was, like, secondhand embarrassment. I just was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I got to see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this heifer. Because she thinks she done did something. But she, she about to be sadly mistaken. I guess that's it. Let's get some tarot on it, y'all. Let's get some tarot on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Hell no. I'm burning my throat chakra. Wax melts though. Okay, so we're going to work this throat crackling out. All right. Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know about this information? We have the Seven of Wands. She thinks she done blocked these people from reconnecting. She thinks she did enough damage 
to these people's connection from all the bullshit she probably was causing while he she was with this divine masculine. I'm I'm picking up on heavy drama from this energy, okay? But now she's blocked from his life. He ain't fucking with her. I'm telling you right now. She was begging him I, what I said, the will of fortune. She ha was begging that man not to leave her because she a karmic. She fucked up. This man tried to establish a ten of cups with her. He did. He left this divine feminine behind. And he tried to build something with a karmic. But I did a reading on this a few days ago. You cannot exalt a karmic. You cannot bring a karmic up to your level. If anything, you're going to fall. So he realized that he needed, needed to stop accepting this karmic's love. <clears throat> Y'all gonna have to forgive me. My throat trying to... My throat trying to do some bullshit i don't know but you know what i'm saying he walked away he walked away because he knew it was illusions and i feel like somebody was just trying to stop me from putting out this message <laughs> stop me from telling their business but you need to stop watching me okay you stuck over here you stuck on me just like he's like you stuck on this Divine masculine, this divine feminine who is going to get back together. Okay, this is why you stuck because you tried to cause a <clears throat> excuse me, cause a ten of swords between these two people. Now, see, whatever this energy is, possibly a queen of pentacles, she does, she's giving me spell work, spiritual manipulation vibes. Okay. I feel like she also tried to either get pregnant by this masculine or she has had a child by him. All right. This woman we talking about right now. She definitely don't want me to tell y'all how she didn't fuck this up. But this karmic fucked this up herself. And balance had to be brought to this situation because she was really putting this man down in the dirt. Okay. With this um, ten of swords energy. She really tried to stop him from building something with this Queen of Wands energy. Like I said, this is a divine feminine. This Queen of Wands energy I'm picking up on, she's very intuitive. She's very attractive. She is her inner beauty that speaks highly of her as well. This woman was special. This is the woman who he left behind. And he faced judgment because of that. This man... Went through some difficulties while he was dealing with this Queen of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This obsessive compulsive person who probably has some addiction issues. She appeared to have money, but that money was looking very funny very quickly. Okay, 808 on the phone. That's a money number right there. Look it up. I'm telling you, when I call out numbers... It's time to do your homework, all right? Let me move these cards up some. But I'm definitely picking up that this woman, despite all of this current misfortune that she's going through, she has lost her relationship. She's lost a source of income, a resource, because I feel like this man was trying to keep her in this Five of Pentacles energy. But it's only so much somebody can do to help you. At some point, you're going to have to help yourself. And I don't think that she, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why my throat has decided to act up, but I'm going to get this message out, okay? This woman was very obsessed with him from the beginning. She was obsessed with winning this man over and keeping him away from this feminine, okay, from the beginning, and he fell for it. I feel like he thought that this Queen of Pentacles shined better than this Queen of Wands. Technically, in the tarot deck, the Queen of Pentacles is more affluent, more, she's more abundant than a Queen of Wands. She gives off a more financial thriving energy. And I think this is what this masculine was looking for. But he got judged for that because this woman really was the D-E-V-I-L, okay? in his life and he learned some hard lessons dealing with this karmic energy she cheated on him with this knight of wands on the bottom <clears throat> excuse me 
I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, okay? I don't know what the fuck going on with my throat, but it's gonna be over with soon because I'm gonna return that shit to sender ASAP. But like I said, with this Knight of Wands, okay, and it was just 10 on one, oh one on the phone with me, play with me if you want to trying to fuck up my throat chakra, 10, 10 on the phone, watch this. She was trying to damn play this man by fucking with other people behind his back after she done raised all that hell to try to be with his ass and keep him from this divine feminine. So now she don't got him. He done moved on. Her ass is watching him from that damn cell phone. Probably the only thing that she got money to pay for, okay? To see who he with, what he doing, where he headed. And it has caused a major tower in her life. This, this thought of him going to this divine feminine has her more in the tower than her own personal problems. This woman is facing a financial mess, okay? This woman ain't employed. This woman don't got nowhere to stay. She is living with someone. That's what I'm picking up here, okay? This woman is not thriving at all. She's facing multiple towers, 11-11 on the phone. But the primary tower in her life is the possibility that this divine masculine she was dealing with may reconnect with this divine feminine, okay? This queen of wands. That's all she fucking sit up. I'm telling you, sitting up in her room with this four of swords. That's all she's focused on. And she thinks that she is winning. Like I said, damn. Nine of Cups. She is definitely in this Nine of Cups energy. She thinks she is winning, okay? Because these two people are not together on the 3D. I am picking up that these people have been connecting on the 5D. <clears throat> That's what I've been picking up, y'all. With this three of cups, these people, both of these people have been thinking about celebrating with each other again. She finna be hurt. Because these two people both have each other on their mind and they are trying to figure out how they can make this shit shake. Okay, 1221 on the phone. Because this queen of wands, she loves him and he loves her. All right, this is who he wished he would have committed to. Let me show you the difference between her and this Queen of Pentacles, okay? She looks softer. She looks more committed to her child. She's definitely more of a mothering type of energy, okay? She didn't watch this child grow up. She just not enamored with the fact that she didn't had this man baby, so she about to get some more money. Like this woman, this Queen of Pentacles is. This woman possibly may have a child with this divine masculine, okay? And she has already possibly been raising this child up right, despite her disconnect from this masculine here. This is a better woman. That's all I'm going to say. 1313 13 on the phone, okay? And this particular tarot spread. This Queen of Cups is faring a whole hell of a lot better than this Queen of Pentacles. This masculine is also realizing that this Queen of Cups actually loved him. Okay, she didn't care about his money. It was just 1331 when I looked up. She didn't care about his money. I didn't even think she even asked him for anything. This woman ain't never came to this man and been like, hey, I need you to help me do this. Can you help me pay that? He ain't never heard that out this woman mouth before. She All she ever did was show him love. This empress here, okay, and he threw that shit away, and he's in regret about it. Child, I'm trying to tell you that he done went through it with this karmic, and he finally done got away from her, and this is who he want to be with. This is who he in regret about. He don't give a fuck about that relationship with the karmic. Good riddance. That's what I'm hearing. 1414 on the phone. He is he ain't in no five of cups about her, okay? If that's what you thought, Carmen, he ain't in no five of cups about you. He in the five of cups about this empress, this divine feminine. What's gonna happen between these people, Holy Spirit? What else do you want us to know? <clears throat> what else would you like for us to know? We have the three of wands. Like I said, this man is trying to make his way back to this empress. This karmic 
Queen of Pentacles energy. She is worried about him getting back to this woman. She trying to act like she done won because he is not, like I said, he is not currently out in the open scouting this woman, pursuing this woman, being with this woman. But she can pick up. I think she has been picking up that both of these people have been reconnecting in the 5D and that they're going to make a connection soon. And it's like she didn't did all of that, totally, completely destroyed herself, her life, tried to destroy this divine masculine's life and this divine feminine's life. I feel like both of these people are doing all right right now. She's the one who is sitting in this fucked up tower, ten of swords energy. Okay? But she don't even care about that. She just care about these two people not being together. But she, I'm telling you, she about to be hurt. Hurt, y'all. This king of swords energy. This is a this is a divine masculine. Okay. But you know, he about to be truthful. With this Empress energy, he's about to be truthful about his feelings. He, I feel like he is going to start, like I said, he's not on the 3D, actively, openly expressing his love and adoration for this Empress. Follow me. He ain't been verbally open, open about the truth of how he feels for her. But I feel like he's about to publicly be vocal and truthful about how he feels regarding this empress. People are going to know he wants to be with her. People are going to see them together and be like, oh, dang, they a couple? What? And I mean, it's going to hit the damn wire, okay? It's going to be in all the chats, okay? The group chats. I'm trying to tell you, he is about to verbally express, publicly express the truth of how he feels for this empress. And this is how this karmic queen of pentacles energy is going to find out what the deal is. 1717 on the phone, okay? She about to find out publicly from that cell phone that only bill she can afford to pay. She finna see proof that everything she did did not work. Everything she lost was not worth losing because it still did not get her the results that she wanted. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? We have the Eight of Cups. And I'm telling you, this... This, this declaration that he's about to make regarding his love for this empress is going to force her to walk away from the both of them for good. She going to have to just give it up. With this Eight of Cups here, that's all her efforts to try to keep these two people apart just wasted. And she's just going to have to leave behind and move the fuck on. Okay? That's what she needs to do. All right? Because it's like, what? Girl, your life is in shambles. It was just 18, 18 on the phone. Your life is in shambles. You are in somebody's spare bedroom living and you got time to be fucking worried about what these two people doing and what they may do in the future, girl. You need to worry about your own future, okay? So I'm gonna close the reading here. <laughs> I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it reaches the ears that need to hear it so that they can make some better decisions moving forward. But please seek God first in whatever you do. And always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? And again, thank you every to everyone who has joined my channel. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all of the likes and the shares of my content. I truly appreciate you. Um, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.